Mm. Oh, I've only heard about it recently, so I would understand why. <sighs> Tio's going for that Tom Hardy sponsorship. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> know it. I started watching Taboo, pretty good show. Yeah, I thought it was okay, Taboo. I like uh, I like uh, Tom Hardy's performance in Peaky Blinders. Yes, I, what's that one where he um, he has uh, Al Alfie, a twin brother? That is a movie, and it's called something. That is a movie. Yeah, uh, it's called like Legend or something like that. I've, I've I think it's called Legend, movie. actually. The guy next to me. Ooh, we are far away from each other, buddy. Is it called Legend? I don't know. There's a lot of people just landing out here in the open like assholes. I'm currently chasing a guy. There's a guy in my building. No way! Oh, thank God. Yeah, you're gonna have to fend for yourself for a while. No, I'm gonna die right now. This is my death. No, 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 no. Believe, Floppy. Okay, I'm on my way. Uh, screw it. Nah, I need, I need one more chest before I go. Maybe I'll find some meds. I won't make it on this health. I'm one shot right now. I can't talk. He's coming for me now. You got this. Oh, I had two bullets left. Are you fucking kidding me? He's got a shotgun. I'm coming. He's gonna execute me, Adol. Or you, buddy. Or you. Okay. We jump on board with Tia, Tia, Tia. This species is unique to the lands of Retail Row. After gazing the sunlight, Tia, Tia, Tia likes to make his way into different building sets around his current location. After this creature has found enough resources, it will hibernate and migrate to greener pastures. You see this creature here currently on two different scenarios. One, he's wary of his own health and well-being. And two, he's on the hunt. In the wild, the tear has been seen to produce many different types of sounds during battle and hibernation. Right here we see the tear currently being stealthy and quiet. This is a classic sign for the tear species as he is currently in predator mode. In the past, the tear species has been seen doing quite outrageous things. But in today's world, he goes for what's known as the trick shot. He's currently overthrowing it by a mile. <clears throat> the Tio finds satisfaction in murdering other species of his own kind. He is a cannibalistic type of male. As he makes his way through retail row, he starts to see the numbers of the server dwindle. This creature thrives in these scenarios. When the Tio is threatened, the attacker be wary. The Tio can pounce and bounce around upon building great structures to defend himself. Most of the time, Tio is on the hunt, but in this scenario, we see Tio playing it smart. He's letting the opponents dwindle each other's numbers before he jumps in and takes the loot. Let's watch. An enemy has been spotted. The species is taking his time before he pounces. He's letting the attacker know that he is aggressive, but is also trying to get him to leave Retail Row. If this does not succeed, Tio will pounce. Now, unfortunately, Tio usually thrives when at full health, but in this current instance, he's quite low. This means the Tio species has to play it smart, otherwise he will go from being the hunter and become the hunted. A wise move from the Tio. He's found some rogue bandages left by dead prey. 
He takes advantage of the scavenge. He attacks. The Tio has currently moved into pounce mode, and he's ready for a strike. But will he come out on top? He knows the enemy is nearby, but has lost track. A sight. He's currently in the advantage position, and this may be the time we see the tier, tier, tier eat. An offense has been made. He puts pressure on the prey as he strikes. With low health, the prey seems to be defensive. Deer comes out on top. The Slav dance. As a sign of victory and mating dance, the Deer moves into the Slav. This allows creatures of many variants to see him at a distance and know of his victory. If a female were to be nearby, this would be a great day. <laughs> the Tio 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 is a smart player in this environment, as now he does not need to scavenge the entire city. His prey has done that for him. Tio now has a full loadout of shotguns, assault rifles, and health opportunities as he moves in for his next battle. Numbers in the servers have been dwindled. 32 seconds on the clock means they will be migrating towards his location. Whether elsewhere has gone downhill as Tio owns and thrives in his current environment. 23 other predators will be pushing into his location. It is at these times we see the Tio scavenge for material. Though this may not help his hunger issues or killing other players, this will help him in the defensive route of gameplay. When in the wild we see Tio thrive with these materials, as if someone tries to take on the Tio, he will build his own building, regardless of location. In the past, we've seen Tio come in many different shapes and forms. But as time has gone on, he has evolved to a black suit with black, slick hair. This allows him to not only blend in, but look good while doing it. A meteor strikes the plains. This is a sign that time has passed and that enemies are pushing in to Tio's location. With three kills on the board, Tio is seen as a threat by the opposing players. Silence on the battlefield. This has been seen in the past as a bad thing, but right now, Tio is using his opportunities to get these materials. Unfortunately, this means it is a sign for other players to see his location. It's at these times we discover that Tio starts to hunt. With 23 on the board, his goals are usually to get eight kills. This is for the dreaded content. When the content opportunities arise, Tio's personality change. He starts to become rabid. And he must strike, regardless of scenario. Even at the cost of a win. A sniping shot rings across the horizon line. Tio hears this and becomes hungry. He's pushing towards the sounds. 
He sees one player and hears of two others. He's going to prioritize the one closest to him. A classic maneuver by the Tio. In the past, we've seen this happen, and he has been sandwiched by two potential threats. In this scenario, Tio is at an advantage. He sees them battle it out. Two players fight against one. Tio joins the battle. Earlier we saw the Tio in a defensive line of sight. Now we see him in the offensive. A great display of predatorial lifestyle and need for more material. A jump pad has been discovered. This will be greatly utilized by the Tio 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 species as he pushes for that victory. In the past we've seen the jump pad utilized for offensive and defensive maneuvering. Six players have been sent back to the lobby by the Wild Tear. A struggle unbound. The weather is pushing towards Tear as he has to migrate back to his homeland, a.k.a. the Retail Road Pastures. He now realizes his mistake. He should not have left his homeland as he has to go protect what he fought over so desperately. He sees buildings in the distance. He tries to ne negotiate with himself. Are they enemy or are they past stories of his battles? He bandages. 75 health is a maximum he can get in this situation, but it'll do. The Tio has seen worse scenarios in the past. He dwindles the numbers. With 11 left on the board, the Tio is hyped as they say in his colony. He builds a structure. He prepares for a long night. He spots an enemy, but unfortunately he has also been spotted. This is what's known as a 1v1 at a distance. He gets attacked. A third party member has joined the battle. Tio doesn't like this. Tio feels weary. He uses the jump pad we mentioned earlier and pushes towards the fight. He takes an advantage position. It's an easy kill. Unfortunately, in this scenario, we see the Tio get taken out by another predator. The predator was wearing a default skin and is otherwise classed as a noob. This angers the Tio as he prepares to go into battle for a second time. <laughs> then as soon as he started, I crouched and started moving really I slowly. <laughs> I sort of panicked to come up with that. <laughs> uh, jump pad, let's go with that. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Right. I thought I'd join the fight to kind of spice things up in the commentary. Yeah, yeah it was good. Yeah, you're just like mixing up the speed. I noticed that you were like crouching, crouching, and then you started running and building. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I gotta go with it. <laughs> oh, that was good, dude. That was fun. I'm impressed. Someone, someone clipped the maiden call. <laughs> <laughs>